Okay, this is an uncomfortable truth video, but today I'm just going to give you the facts on how women classify a strong man in a relationship that they're dating versus a weak man that they're dating. This is exactly how they classify a strong man versus a weak man. And keep in mind, this is post-attraction. So the scenario that I want to paint for you today or the picture in your brain that I want to paint for you today is you've met a woman, you're attracted to her and she's attracted to you. You guys have mutual feelings of chemistry or you guys have mutual feelings of attraction and potentially arousal and you know that she is interested in you. Now at this point, you have raised her interest level to the point where she probably wants to sleep with you or she does want to sleep with you, but she still does not have a full understanding or a clear understanding of your sexual market value. Maybe she sees that a few other women are into you and that's raised her desire. Maybe she sees that you are known for something and you have some sort of situational status in whatever it is that you do. However, she is still not necessarily considered you for a long-term companion or not because she doesn't know you as well yet. This is the scenario and this is the picture that I'm painting for you. There is only one way that a woman classifies a strong man in a relationship and labels him as strong versus a weak man or a man who is emasculated. This is going to sting, but I'm going to tell you the truth. The only way that a woman is able to decide for herself if hypergamy is satisfied is if that man gets attached post-sex or not. Now, I understand that that is a cold truth and that is a harsh truth that you're going to have to kind of meditate on and swallow, but stick with me here for a second. The way that she knows that she is dealing with a man who has had other dating companions or other options at her level of attractiveness or not is if that guy post intimacy, or let's just say it for what it is, after those two have slept together, right? After those two have had sex, if that guy gets attached and he is very needy, he is very clingy, he's consistently text messaging, he's consistently calling her, he's consistently asking when the next time he gets to see her is, he's consistently trying to set up dates, he's consistently trying to pursue her for that approval or for that validation, he is going to be considered a weak man. He is going to be considered a man who is emasculated. He is also going to be considered a man that goes weak to the feminine and that is controlled by his lust. Now I'm telling you this because this is extremely important. As soon as that becomes you, she can't help it. It's just how the world works. She automatically thinks you are beneath her. She automatically thinks you have lower sexual market value than her. And she automatically thinks that she can do better. Now, whether that is true or not, doesn't matter because hypergamy is a feeling. So the man that she's actually going to be chasing, the man that she's actually going to be pursuing, the man that she's actually trying to obtain approval and validation from, it is going to be a man who is not only indifferent to her beauty, it is going to be a man that does not get attached post-sex. That is the man that she starts to classify as strong. That is a man that she starts to classify as a man who has high amounts of willpower and who is indifferent to her beauty. And that is the man that she ends up wanting a relationship with. The only type of man that a woman will consistently want a relationship with is a man who does not go weak for her beauty, is a man who is not controlled by his lust, and is a man that does not get attached post-sex. If you are able to consistently stay within those elements or stay within those character traits and consistently pursue your own purpose, consistently occupy your time with other things that does not have to do with your dating life, that is going to be the man that she gravitates towards. Now, at the end of the day, value as a man is internal and hypergamy is a feeling. Okay, so with that said, here's what I can tell you. If you've stayed with me up until this point in the video, you maybe have some false beliefs that need to be addressed. So some of the beliefs you might still be holding on to is you're saying, but Casey, I believe in unconditional love. But Casey, I believe in feelings of mutual chemistry. Well, Casey, aren't you saying that I'm never going to actually be able to just wear my heart on my sleeve and show all of my love, all of my care, all of my attention and all of my validation to that one woman that I love so much? The answer is no, you're not. You're not going to be able to do that. The second you do that is the second that she doesn't want you. And I am telling you this 
from years of experience. I'm telling you this after having thousands of students inside of my programs over the years. I have watched men make the same mistakes in their 20s as they do in their 30s. And these men will consistently make the same mistakes in their dating life with women in their 30s as they do in their 40s and in their 50s and so on. And these are men who are sometimes one, two, or even three times divorced. These are sometimes men who have dating lives where they are consistently heartbroken year after year, and they're consistently repeating the same cycle because they are not learning from their mistakes, they are not acquiring more wisdom, and they are not leveling up their competency to actually make them a man of value. So this is the only way that a woman is able to classify a strong man from a weak man. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button. I want you to go down below. I want you to click the link in the description. Check out the full-length end-to-end MBT Masculine Behavioral Technique webinar presentation that I made for you. You can take some of these concepts that we talked about today. You can take them in your dating life. You can go even further even quicker. So be sure to check that out down below and we'll see you in the next one.